Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. Now let's take a look at this physics question. It says uh, the process by which metal is heated to a high temperature or a, a metal heated to a high temperature gives off electrons from its surface is known as. So now when you heat a metal to a very high temperature so that it begins to give off electrons, the process is called thermionic emission from here you see thermo heat so emission as a result of heat is referred to as thermionic emission now radioactivity uh, emission or radioactivity is the spontaneous disintegration of the nuclear of an atom to give us uh, particles and radiations in radioactivity the nucleus uh, disintegrates spontaneously so we have natural radioactivity and we have artificial radioactivities in radioactivity three main particles are given off we have alpha particles which is a helium nuclear uh, we have beta particles which are fast moving electrons and we have gamma rays which are electromagnetic radiation gamma rays have the highest penetrating power they can only be absorbed by a lead block meanwhile alpha particles can be stored by uh, uh, tin of paper tin uh, paper or sheet Beta particles can be stored by aluminum foil or metal sheet. Uh, metal sheet. Now, uh, photoelectric effect is when uh, uh, radiation such as light is incident on the surface and it begins to emit electrons or emit radiation. So that's photoelectric effect. Emission of electrons based on light, the introduction of light. Why a feed emission is emission when uh, the material is subjected to electrostatic feed so it begins to emit um, electrons off its surface so once again the process by which metal is heated to a high temperature and it gives off electrons from its surface is known as thermionic emission thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for even more amazing videos